More than 1.5 million Alabamians have now received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. A fewer people are seeking the vaccine, so state health officials are sending doses to areas and communities where they are needed most. The big question now, will Alabama reach herd immunity? NBC 15's James Gordon spoke with the state's top doctor. James, Dr. Scott Harris is warning COVID-19 infections are still a reality here in Alabama. Uh, reality, yes, Kim, but the good news is that we are seeing fewer cases. Still, health officials are concerned that we will not reach that herd immunity as fewer people seek out the vaccine and allotments could be cut. So will we reach herd immunity and is that a concern? Uh, you know, it's difficult to say. You know, we, we still don't know what level herd immunity is going to require in terms of vaccination. You know, it, it's not that we someday give our, you know, three million shot and the, the switch flips and there's no more disease out there. Real herd immunity is defined as having enough people either vaccinated or have been infected. Most people who've studied this disease feel like this disease is never going to go away completely entirely. Uh, it's going to be around for a long time. There may be shots required, uh, you know, maybe annually or maybe every few years. The state is waiting for the CDC's go ahead to vaccinate children. According to Harris, about one out of every five Alabamians is a child under 16. Dr. Harris says pushing for more and more people to get the vaccine only makes sense. We still have hundreds of Alabamians in hospitals today uh, across the state with COVID. We still have uh, hundreds of cases a day. We still have deaths occurring every single day in Alabama. And we're so fortunate that it's nothing like we were seeing back in December and January. It's Uh, Dr. Harris says if you have any questions about the vaccine, to talk to your doctor and make an informed choice. And now we're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.